The Common Fund Data Ecosystem Search Portal was designed to make it easy to find files, biosamples, and subjects from across Common Fund data sets uh, that share a common a theme, such as a common anatomy or disease or a gene of interest. What we're working on now is enhancing the search portal with external information um, to increase our knowledge about uh, these biosamples. So for instance, if we click the anatomy, we can search for files, biosamples of a particular anatomy of interest. Uh, my favorite anatomy, I usually search for the pituitary. We can refine our search by either the ID, the common identifier, the name, or a text in its description. And if you click the file with the magnifier icon, you can view more information about the pituitary gland. And at the heart, what the portal does is show you collections uh, and biosamples associated with this anatomy of in, uh, anatomy. So GTEx and Glygen have both done a lot of studies on the pituitary gland, and you can find those through the portal. What we've recently added are these resources, and these are links to external resources, such as the EMBL ontology lookup service or the gene-centric knowledge graph um, for that particular anatomy, and these are linked by this unique identifier. For anatomies, it's an Uberon ID. And we can also add widgets that allow you, rather than to go download the data and run a workflow, we can simply compare how this gene expression compares to other tissues uh, by exploring this widget within the portal. Now I can see that these genes here are more highly expressed in one tissue compared to another. If you click the data browser icon uh, tab at the top we, and scroll down to vocabulary, there are a lot of other vocabularies you can filter by. Let's look at compounds. Uh, compounds use either a PubChem or a Glygen ID. We can click on one in particular, Zebularin, for instance. This is a compound, and uh, it has been associated with a variety of substances, collections, files, and biosamples. You can click biosample or subject to scroll down. So all of these subjects were treated with Zebularin. Um, and at the top, we have, this is a unique identifier, and we can use this identifier to link out to external researchers, such as PubChem, or to our knowledge graph uh, user interface for this particular compound. Going back, uh, if we sort by ID, we can see some of the glygen accessions, for instance. And here we have, this is showing really unique resources. We, not only are we able to, to show text about this compound, um, such as its weight and its composition. We can link to external resources with even more, and we can embed images of this. So now there's more information about this compound than simply it's associated with this collection. My favorites are the genes. If we go to vocabulary gene and search for a gene of interest, I like a GRP. And it has an ensemble is the unique identifier that we use for genes. You can search for genes by their ensemble ID, their name, or their description. You can click the file in the magnifying glass to view more about this. Um, it, this particular gene is not associated with any files, but we have lots of external resources about this and all the other genes in our portal. Links to external resources that use this as its unique identifier. We also have a table that will convert this ensemble identifier into pretty much any other identifier, HGNC, NCBI, Omni, RefSeq, or Unicrop, Unicrop KB. We also link, have links to apiters that were recently created uh, that uh, bridge information across the Common Fund dataset and run pipelines on these genes to show even more information about them. And then we have some embedded, embedded widgets that you can use to explore this expression in a variety of tissues without leaving the gene page, um, such as how this gene responds to chemical perturbations, whether or not there is more than one transcript, and what phenotypes and collections it's associated with. We have links within the portal to any associated disease pages. So the disease page, in addition to telling you whether or not there are any biosamples or subjects or files associated with this disease, we also have links to external resources for the ontology and um, genomic features associated with the disease.